Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between. How are you today? So, I thought I want to make a video today, like a proper video, not on my phone. And my topic was going to be sexuality and its fluidity. Because, sorry, I'm in love with this way. A little bit. Um, because I know that, like, I was talking about this with my friends the other night, that sexuality is actually really quite fluid. And it kind of, like, can change. Of course, some people don't experience this, and some people experience it quite often. I have my ver my personality. <laughs> my um, sexuality has changed a lot over the years. Because I, I have made a video in the past about not knowing I was transgender. So this is kind of the same idea. Just to, like kind of let y'all know that it's possible for your sexuality to change over time and to not really think too hard on it and you don't necessarily need to kind of bend to society's standards of, of what to label yourself if you want to label yourself at all. When I was younger, before I transitioned, I thought I was a lesbian, 100%. Didn't have an interest in men, didn't have an interest in sleeping with them. Uh, dating them, nothing. I didn't care for them. Not like all the way through high school. Like I, I had my fair share of boyfriends and stuff and I loved them and shit. I never had sex with men until after I transitioned. But I thought I was into women and women solely, basically. And then college rolled around and I met my ex-boyfriend Will, who is a perfect human being. I met him and we started to talk and shit, I'm like, oh well, what is this? It threw me for a fucking spin. Because I, I thought I was for sure like, I'm a lesbian, this is what it is. And then I met Will and was like, wait, but he's not a woman and I like him. What the fuck does that mean? I thought like, once I found out who the fuck I was, who I liked, that was that. No, it can change, honestly. It's really all based on chemistry and and who you like vibe with and just who you find attractive it just kind of happens i think so yeah i met him and then i came out as pansexual because i'm like okay so this is a thing like i'm into him and blah 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 we dated for a bit after that i just identified as pansexual up until quite recent actually and i, I thought i was more into women than men even still at that point that I, uh, I still was like not that into men that I had to have like a serious connection with them in order for me to like really find them attractive and want to be with them. And then I met my ex-boyfriend Jonathan, who all of you know, like not, he's never been in a video, but I talk about him a lot. I met him and was like, hello, oh my goodness. And fell for him pretty hard. And we, he was the first man I ever slept with um, like cis man, not that my sex life was massive before that, but anyway, uh, after I had started having sex with him, I was like, wow, what is this? This is amazing. Anyway, turns out now I'm just hella gay. It's fine. Actually, I've accepted it. It took me a while actually to accept that I identify as gay, like a gay trans man. That's what I identify as. And... Like, I'm just not attracted to women. I'm just not anymore. It's weird, eh? Like, I used to be, I definitely used to be, and I used to be, like, in love with women, and I've had sex with women, although I identified as asexual at the time, which I guess that was a sign. <laughs> but anyway, I'm rambling. My point is that sexuality is quite fluid, and if you just kind of let it take its course and do its thing, and you just listen to your heart and what you just are naturally attracted to, you're gonna be so much happier. I changed a lot, and I'm actually very content. I am very much into men, and it's lovely. Um, and it's just, it's, it's nice knowing who I am, I guess, and accept, like, finally accepting that I do identify as gay, but hey, that could change. Who knows? I'm just kind of open about it. I don't identify as queer, though, because, like, I still, I don't find myself attracted to women at this point in my life. And you don't need to identify as that. Oh, another thing I want to talk about is, 
let's say someone is in a lesbian relationship and their partner starts to transition from female to male and all of a sudden you're in a straight relationship and then people will say to you oh well how are you a lesbian then simple you're still like attracted to women like very much so it just so happens that the person you love and are in love with and are with at that point in time transitioned into a man and if you're still attracted to him, that's fine. If you still want to identify as a lesbian, who gives a fuck? Don't let society fucking taint your views and make you question yourself all because this one person that you're dating that used to be a woman is now a man, and all of a sudden society's like, wait, hold on, that's not right. Like, fuck them, fuck society. No, 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 listen, mm -mm. Get that shit out of here. You do you, boo. It's all up to the perception of yourself. <laughs> oh, another thing I wanted to talk about, it's really good, <laughs> is I got new tattoos. This one is hella gay, rainbow, and it, it says my favorite color is you. They're, they are AJR lyrics from the song Sober Up. It doesn't overly mean too much to me, like on a deeper level, but I just, I really, really, really liked that verse when I heard it. I just, I don't know what it is about that sentence. I love it. I think it's a very beautiful sentence and meaningful and I love it. So now it's on my body. And I also got, like, this is older, but still turning out is also AGR lyrics. Can you tell I like that band? If you've never heard of them, look them up. They're great. And I also got this tattoo of my old dog Tyson. For you, those of you who are longtime viewers, you'd know Tyson from my videos. He was my favorite dog, the most incredible dog, and this is a memorial to him, and I love it so much. It's so well done. I have a talented tattoo artist. He's great. Anyway, always good talking to you guys, and uh, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.